Hey everybody, um, glad to be back. Uh, took a couple of weeks off, um, but we're back to doing these uh, these videos and um, uh, uh, miss doing them. Hope you miss seeing them and uh, let's go. So uh, spent the last couple of weeks on the West Coast. Uh, those of you who know me know I'm based out of New York. Uh, spent time because my daughter is doing a college internship out there um, and also spent time with a lot of my former students. Uh, I think I saw about 120 former students over the uh, you know, week plus that we were there. It was a lot of fun. It was a blast. Um, I really missed those guys and I'm glad to reconnect. Uh, if anyone's interested in seeing about what we did a little bit, uh, just take a look at over at the blog and the post before this one uh, talks about that a little bit. Um, so I was originally going to continue the series by doing a little bit of um, some of the program development that I do, um, probably Python. And the idea from that was uh, let's get some you know, some code or some some text uh, into Emacs so we can start looking at more elaborate workflows and more tools. But then I noticed on Reddit the other day, somebody posted it about org reveal. Um, and that's a tool that I use. So I thought, oh, let me just do a quick little video on org reveal. And because um, that can be problematic at times, but I think it's really cool. And then we'll get back to uh, our originally planned sequence. So um, there are a lot of ways of doing presentations through Emacs. Uh, a lot of them have to do with org mode. But I always liked doing reveal.js um, uh, presentations. What reveal.js is, if you see over here, um, it's basically a JavaScript library. And um, what you can do with it is you basically make a, a web page, an HTML, and that becomes your presentation. And it looks pretty cool. And if you know HTML, it's pretty easy. Um, but if you don't know HTML, it can be a problem. And if you don't really want to spend a lot of time doing markup, it can be kind of a bear to do. Uh, but fortunately, those of us who use Emacs and those of us who use org mode, and I know we didn't do a lot of org mode yet, um, but what I showed you already would be enough to get started. There's a package called org reveal uh, that's over here, and I'll link to all of these in the, in the blog post, um, which lets you basically take an org file and export it into an org mo into a reveal uh, type presentation, which is just HTML, which you can put anywhere. And I'll talk a little bit about that and show you some cool things as we go along. Um, so this can be a little problematic. There are some versioning issues with having the latest version of org and the latest version of reveal. So hopefully things will work out. And uh, even though I'm not going to show you everything, it'll be enough to get started. And uh, we might hit a few bumps, and we'll see if we can navigate them. So. Over here, we've got our little directory here. And um, before I even, oops, what is it? Before I even um, start to uh, work in Emacs, I'm just going to make a directory called samples. And that'll just be where I can put sample files um, over the course of this. I, I realize that we're not just working in our configuration file. But the GitHub repo that I put together for, for all of you is just your hidden Emacs file. And I don't want that to get cluttered. So this is a little clunky, but it's the best I can figure out right now. And we'll put the data files that we're working on under that samples directory or folder. So let's just load up Emacs. And let's actually load up myinit.org. So that's the org file version that we had from the other, you know, from the other day. And let's move this over to here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's add a little section for reveal.js. We will put in uh, that less than s tab. Let's just complete this little source block. And I've actually copied this onto a window that's out of view. So I'm going to cut and paste that over. Let's edit it just to indent it a little bit better. Uh, and what we have here, let's clean this up just a wee bit, move that down. This is ensuring the org reveal package. Um, this is basically saying where reveals code is. What you have to do to get reveal to work um, is it needs to find the reveal JavaScript file. This means find it up on the web on um, a CDN. And so you put this in, it'll always work. You can override this in your org mode file or use a local copy. This just says um, use MathJax, which means you can put the, um, 
math type notation that we haven't covered yet in org mode uh, into here and it'll work. So I'm just going to, uh, let's just evaluate this block. We may have to exit Emacs and come back into it, we'll see. And let's load samples, uh, we'll I'll call it present.org. And so the cool thing here is all we really have to do is make an org mode file. So this will be slide one, slide two, let's make a sub slide one, sub slide two, slide three, we'll have a list item one, list item two, let's put, let's put a little table in this. Let's say that's slide four. Maybe slide four has uh, some code in it. Let's say, let's put some Python code in it. Let's edit that. Let's f f of x will return x plus one. I know it's kind of lame, but whatever. And let's print out f of five. So now we got our org mode file. And if I go to export this, let's see what the menu says here. I don't usually use the menu here, but if we go, let's see, let's see, let's see. Export, Control C, Control E if you don't remember it. So Control C, Control E. And you'll note over here, capital R, export to reveal. And you can reveal to a file to save it. Or we can just go to right to the browser. So I'm just going to type in capital R, capital B. And bang, and we've got this nice little cool presentation with all the stuff in here. We got our table in there. I know that, yeah, there we go. Uh, everything really cool. It was just that easy. Um, the cool thing though is we can do a lot more than this. So let's go over to, we can customize this in various ways. So if we go to the reveal site, under CSS, there are themes. And let's, I don't know, uh, the sky theme. So we can say here, uh, where are we? Um, let's put reveal theme sky. And now we have a different theme. And if we downloaded reveal, we could have just copied that over and edited that ourselves. Let's put in a couple of other options. Options, table of contents nil, and number nil. Not no, but nil. And now we got rid of our table of contents and our nils. Um, let's add some here's some text, you know, just to show it's not just that. Um, what else can we do with this? Well, notice that the text we have here, or rather the code we have here, doesn't look all that good. It doesn't do any syntax highlight highlighting. That's a really easy fix. We'll just go back to our configuration file. And let's also use package HTMLIs. Ensure true. We'll just run it manually. and syntax highlighting. And there are other ways of doing it as well, but um, this is a pretty nice, easy way of doing it. We can also do things like this. Um, let's say these subslides. Well, let's not make these subslides. Let's look at the, um, let's look at these lists. We can say, um, what is it? ATTR reveal, we want to frag these, and we want them fragmented by rolling them in. Now, what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to, every time you hit space, give you the next item. Um, and this used to work, but it stopped working. I'm going to save it. Run this again. Where is it? Oh, and I think I typed it wrong. Yes, uh, I forgot my colon over here. Let's run this again. Yeah, it just does that first one. And this took forever for me to figure out. What it is is that the documentation isn't quite keeping up um, with the changes to org reveal. And they've changed it. So now that you need to put 
the way of rolling in or fading in in parentheses. So now if we run this, and it works. And um, if we go back over here to the org reveal website, which we have somewhere over here, if you poke around here, let's say roll in, you know, you can do grow, shrink, roll in, highlight, all these things. There are, there's a lot here in the documentation, so this is just a start that I'm showing you. Uh, there's really tons of other things you can use. Um, but what I love about this is once you've created this, you've got your presentation as a website, and you can do some cool things with it. So let me just kill all of this Firefox thing here and I'll put Emacs in the background. And if we go to that samples directory, you'll notice that we had present.org that we created, but we also have present.html. We can just copy this onto a thumb drive or put it in the cloud somewhere, and all of a sudden we've got our presentation ready to go with all the transitions and everything else. Um, I'll show you one other example of this with a few other features. It's a little dated. I made this with an older version, so the code's a little different. But up on my GitHub, I had to do a presentation once, and it's a, for a little lesson that I gave. Uh, where is it? May's lesson. And you'll notice I've got CSS, JavaScript. I basically, I put all of Reveal here. I kept the local copy of it, and this is all on GitHub. And um, again, if you don't know all of this, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We're going to cover some of it. Some of it you'll pick up if you want. Um, you know, feel free to ask questions. But I also have these images that I'm including. But let's look at the main lesson.org. And if I look at the raw file here, um, notice that I'm saying a low, this reveal root says, hey, I don't want to use that CDN version. I want to use reveal saved here. Oh, I have extra CSS. Uh, so use this CSS file. There's also one to include your own JavaScript as well. This doesn't work anymore. This reveal title side template, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, let me actually make a change here. Let me, um, what you're supposed to do, and this might not actually work, This may not work. Um, my awesome presentation, Mike Zamansky, you can also put a date in there. That's kind of big. It doesn't look that good, but whatever, you get the idea. If this doesn't work, what I would recommend trying to do is remove this entire ELPA. Well, first, go into um, Emacs. Do your, uh, do a package, refresh to package refresh contents. And I did this right before I started filming this video. And then if you do list packages, it'll tell you on the bottom, oh, you've got a bunch of things to upgrade, type U to mark them, and then X to execute. Um, I'm not doing that now, we're all upgraded. Uh, and if that doesn't work, just try removing this entire ELPA folder and reload Emacs. It'll download all the latest versions of everything, and that should clear it up. Uh, but anyway, this is using an older uh, version where I just set the implementation this way. But you'll notice that if things didn't work exactly the way I wanted, I can just put these HTML blocks in the org file and put things exactly the way I want. So here I'm using that frag in, a little bit more HTML for images. Um, this is org stuff that we'll cover later on. But then there's something really, really cool you can do if you do put it on GitHub. A couple of things you can do. One thing you can do is if we go, eh, if we go here to the repo, notice it says in this, it's this raw git thing. Raw git is a really, really cool service. And here's here's the um, the presentation. And so this is all done in org mode, you know. And I've got all this here, you know, kind of cute thing here. Um, raw git basically will serve your GitHub stuff, and you can just put it here. And if it's just an HTML file or a JavaScript based thing, um, it gives you um, it gives you an address you can use, and you can just serve presentations from there. Another really cool thing you can use are GitHub pages. And if you search for GitHub pages, you can see, read all about them. Uh, I actually use GitHub pages for my web, for my blog. So if you go to this blog, it is just a GitHub page instead of GitHub pages. But the other thing you can do here is let's just make a new branch, GH pages, created. And that just made a GitHub pages branch for this maze lesson. So if now I go to um, 
zemansky.github.io, where Zemansky is my GitHub username. And then it should just be maze lesson, and then lesson.html, that's the file we're looking at. And again, it's automatically served. So now I don't have to worry, as long as I have internet access, my presentation is going to be up and running. So that's just a little bit about um, using org mode for reveal for presentations. Um, there's a lot more to it than that, but it's uh, you know this should get you started. It's pretty cool. It's my go-to tool for presentations. Um, so that's that's it for this one. Um, love the comments, um, you know, and love the uh, love the feedback. It's all really helpful. Uh, I hope this helps the people um, who are commenting on Reddit or find some value to it. Um, We'll put this up with the blog post with the links. Uh, hope you're enjoying. And uh, next time, it'll be about one week per video. That's my hope now that I'm getting settled in. Uh, we'll get back to our originally planned sequence of videos. All right, so take care, everybody, and uh, you know, have fun and enjoy.